All right, welcome to LDSBookReviews.com. My name is Ryan Daly, lover of books. With that being said, today we are going to do the Penguin Classics translation of the complete Dead Sea Scrolls in English. All right, I'm going to give this a two-star book. Not because it's not impactful and meaningful, but in the LDS community it's probably nothing that you really have to focus on, really need to read, or you're going to get a whole lot out and just a good skim of it. Like most uh, sacred writings of other denominations and other faiths, particularly old and dead denominations and faiths, you need quite a bit of commentary to understand and to really pull things out. Luckily, in the LDS community, there is quite a bit of commentary, some commentary by uh, Nibley, but there's an LDS, there's a Dead Sea Scrolls and LDS perspectives that I recommend from farms that kind of helps take the tidbits out and pulls it out. There's more meaning in the existence of the Dead Sea Scrolls than some of the, the content in it. Now, the Dead Sea Scrolls was supposedly by a branch off of the Essenes previous to Christ. They moved off, uh, they isolated themselves, they built a community, and then they kept the writings and they buried the writings. And these were discovered in the 1940s and 30s, 30s, 40s-ish. Uh, they were discovered because clay pots were broken in caves where they had stored them. Um, Anyways, as it goes, there's tons in here. I've read the full thing. There are tidbits and neat, neat things about it. There are things that confirm, the existence of them confirm a lot of things that the LDS community believes in relation to storing and burying sacred scripture for a later date. Uh, the rules of community are a good sacred reading. It's the rules by which they live by. They are a priestly uh, organization. Uh, they did believe in a Messiah concept as well as in an end of days prophecy. Um, there is some writings of Isaiah that are in there. Uh, there's a lot of Old Testament quotes that are in there as well. Again, the power of the Dead Sea Scrolls is really seen in their existence, right? They're finding the bearing of sacred scriptures uh, there is some cool stuff in here that if you're really bored or you're really interested in, go through and read. For the scholars, it's fantastic. There's still great research coming out of it. But for the normal LDS member, um, you're really going to have a hard time getting through it. There's a lot of things that you're just not going to understand out of context of the community itself. But you do appreciate this community and what they've done their faith and their loyalty to their God and the things that they did in preserving their scriptures. So with that being said, the complete Dead Sea Scrolls in English, for most of the LDS community, I'm going to give it a two stars. If you're a scholar or you're really interested in other scriptural uh, works or to confirm different ideas, go for it. The hymns and poems sections are beautiful. The Thanksgiving poems, the rules of the community are fascinating. They're meaningful in, in religious studies. Uh, but you're not going to get any magnificent, like, oh my goodness, I, that totally is in line with what we believe. But you will find some unique things that are in relation to how we believe ancient scriptures were transmitted. So with that being said, I leave that with you. LDS, uh, bookreviews.com, if you're interested to learn more, a complete write-up will be there. Thank you.